taste of clown. And welcome back to another unboxing. It is Paul's Aquariums. We are in Brisbane. We have five awesome boxes of fish. Interesting stuff in here. I'm not entirely sure what, like normal, but we are going to start with box number one. We have Cooley Loaches. If you haven't seen these before, they're like little tiny snaky eely things that wiggle along the bottom of your aquarium. Super cool, super peaceful. They are striped. Very, very nice little fish. Schooling fish, Southeast Asia. Very peaceful, so you can keep them with lots of tetras, stuff like that. Community tanks, they are a tropical fish, so you need a heater, you need to adjust your pH, all that wonderful stuff. Another small fish, these are also from Southeast Asia. These are Maculata raspora or Micro raspora. Called Micro because they're small, called raspora because they're a raspora. <laughs> they are really, really nice little peaceful fish. When they settle down in a heavily planted little tank, they will go a nice bright red color with little purple dots on them. A very, very cool fish if you want something small in a small tank that doesn't make a mess. So they are back in stock. We have female guppies. Should be a lot of female guppies in there. If there's a double up, I'm not gonna show you any more of them, but lots of cool female guppies. We have lots of nice males available at the moment as well. We have Otto Sinkless Catfish. If you haven't seen these before, these are a small schooling catfish that sucks. That's sucking, that's not sucking, that's truly loaching. That sucks. <laughs> sucks algae and stuff like that off your tank. They stay super, super small. So they're one of the smaller, easy to get sucker fish. Perfect again for little community tropical tanks. Max out about two and a half centimeters from South America. Yay, not fish. These are blue Neocaridina shrimp. Very cool fish. I just said they weren't fish. Very cool shrimp. <laughs> they are blue. That is the natural color of them. They are lion bred from a lovely brown shrimp that comes from China. Very, very nice. Most fish will eat these. So all the videos you see of the top 10 fish to go with shrimp, most of them are gonna eat them apart from like little tiny Corydoras and super, super peaceful sucker fish and so on and so on. So like the Otto cats won't eat these, but even guppies will chase them around the tank. So ideally you want shrimp in a tank just with themselves. We do have a lot of shrimp that aren't gonna be in this video turning up tomorrow, which is yesterday when you're watching this. I know, we're, we're time, time traveling. traveling. <laughs> For everyone that wonders why I get everything done that I do, just bend time a little bit. But we have black Neocaridinas, we have yellow, we have Bloody Mary, which is like a bright red one with little red legs. Usually they have clear legs. I think there's orange, there's yellow, and there's black. Did I say black? There's black. There's a lot of cool Neocaridina shrimp turning up. So if you're not sure, talk to me on social media. If you watch Facebook, Instagram, you'll see all the posts of stuff that turn up outside of unboxing videos. Yes, we are on that for the last 400 years. We have a native fish. We have Australian bass, they look like. So there should be quite a few bags of Australian bass. They are cool. They will get big, 40 centimeters, depending on the size of your TV. They're that big or that big. <laughs> or phone, if, it's, if you're on your phone, they're that big. 40 centimeters on average, maybe a little bit bigger if you're lucky. Schooling, they are cold water, so subtropical to cold, I suppose. So they'll survive anything from like five degrees all the way up to like 30, 32 degrees. Very cool native fish if you want something nice, unheated in Southeast Queensland. We have Honey They are lovely, peaceful, very nice. Males and females are that beautiful yellow color. The males will get a little bit of orange on them as well as the yellow. Peaceful tropical fish, great for community tanks. Super, super nice. They're not schooling, so you can have one in a tank or a group. If you have two, you'll tend to find that one will harass the other one a little bit. They'll either want to breed or fight if they're two males. But you don't have to have a group. You can have one, you can have a group to even up the aggression. But another cool little fish for a tropical tank. That looks like everything from box number one. We're going to box number two. Joker is disgusting. Not my favorite. <laughs> and we have box number two. Oh, that's not a fish. Oh, that is a big orangey gold axolotl. We have more axolotls. Look at its eyes. 
If you're not sure about axolotls, they are a tadpole version of a salamander that has evolved to live in this tadpole stage. They like the water icy cold, so under 20 degrees, ideally 10 to 15 degrees. You will need a chiller in Southeast Queensland where we are, but if you live in a cold climate, perfect. Perfect opportunity to have one of these cool things. They got legs, but they don't come out of the water. They just crawl around the bottom. There should be four different axolotls in these boxes. That was one. That is number two. Oh, that's a leucistic. So leucistic is like albino, but they have the beady black or blue eyes. Look at it. <laughs> very, very cool thing. I will grab the other two in the next box and show you them. It's a brown one. <laughs> It's a brown one. It is a weird color, that one. Look at that. That's like a sandy brown with very cute gold eyes. It's interesting. Every time we get axolotls, there are different colors. There's the common four colors, and then you get some weird colors like this one, which is a very cool sandy brown axolotl. If you do want some of these and you are in Southeast Queensland, comment quickly on social media when you see this video because they do sell out fast. There is a speckly black one with gold eyes. That's also cool. Oh, there you go. So that is the four different colors we have got. We will have them come and go all the time. So if your tank's not ready, we will have more axolotls in. If you're seeing this and you do want one, contact me. Social media. Yeah. Links down below and stuff like that. There are more fish in this box. Let's look what we've got. I said in the last video that we had these that I just want to tank with a million of these. They are red cap Aranda goldfish. So an Aranda goldfish just means they've got the bumpy head. So the red bit looks like a brain, but it's on the outside. So it's not really a brain, even though some people have you know, comments. The types of goldfish you can get, they're neat. <laughs> so all goldfish get big. These guys will get the size of a rugby ball. You want about 60 to 80 litres per goldfish. So all the little tiny goldfish bowls and tanks, no. You want a big pond or a big tank, something decent so they can grow up and look awesome. We have more goldfish in this box. It's not a box, in this bag. We have more goldfish in this bag. These are fantails. So a fantail has a double tail. So like a goldfish, they have a little pot belly. Wait, pot belly, pot belly, pot belly. Did I say pot belly? Pot belly, They have a pot belly. So like a normal goldfish, but fat with two tails. Half their luck. And there was a couple more bags of those. So we have quite a few of those. <laughs> On to the next box. I can still taste that. Oh, okay. All the other times we've ordered these, they have turned up dead, but these look like they're alive. They're attached to the bag. These are nerite snails. Ooh. We only got 10 to see if they'd be alive. They're alive. If you don't know what a nerite snail is, it's technically a brackish water snail, salt to brackish, which is half fresh, half salt. People use these in their planted tanks to eat algae but they won't reproduce. Very cool, very small, a little bit expensive compared to a normal snail, but we do have some of those available. Tiger barbs, okay. There are quite a few tiger barbs in these boxes. So we have the gold tiger barb, which is the albino version, the normal stripy tiger barb, which looks like a tiger. It doesn't, I was gonna say it doesn't have a tail, but it does have a tail. Looks like a fish with the pattern of a tiger. <laughs> And we have green tiger barbs, which I like a tiger barb, but they're green. And if you notice really closely, the stripes on the normal tiger barb are a greeny color. So they've just line bred one with bigger stripes until they've got a solid stripe. So they're a solid striped tiger barb. Very nippy fish, very cool fish. They are a tropical fish. You want a group of six or more of them. Okay with anything except guppies and long flowing fins. So they can harass angelfish with their big, delicate, whiskery fins whisker fins but they are cool nonetheless go really well with lots of central american and south american cichlids that aren't overly big so these guys will max out about that five six centimeter size what are they oh remy those tetras oh they're big they're good i think we've got a couple of bags of those they look nice and healthy and meaty they're one of the few types of tetras that don't travel well but these seem to be okay so really nice flag tail, stripy tail with the red nose. Super peaceful, South American, like the pH below seven. Schooling again, so you want a group of five or more of them. Very nice Tetras if you want something cool for your planted tank. Looks like we have neon Tetras. Yay, neons. We have neons all the time. 
still have neons and more neons and albino neons they are really cool if you haven't seen the albino neons check the last unboxing videos they are so nice we have hey dude up the road will be happy you know who you are we have some balloon mollies they're like a normal molly but they look like a balloon a genetic thing makes them round like a fantail goldfish without the double tail it'd be kind of cool if someone makes a fantail molly maybe not i can see more bass in there so australian bass we do have peacock bass available as well so if you want them they are there silver dollars these are a south american tetra they get big they eat plants a very awesome diver fish if you don't know what a diver fish is they are fish that stops the aggression with all the other bigger fish so if you keep a group of these with oscars and other stuff like that it'll just even out them harassing each other because they try and chase the schooling fish can't chase them give up so you want at least three or six or more of these guys they will school back and forward much like you see up there that is one of our display tanks of three different types of silver dollars in it these are the normal silver ones, but we do have stripy ones and the dwarf spotted ones from time to time. That was that box. I think it's the last box after this one. Who knows? Man Bat the Joker. Okay, I think this may be the last box. We have Cardinal Tetris. Like a neon, but they have the red belly. Very cool. They get bigger than a neon. Like the water, more soft, so less minerals, a higher temperature. Very nice fish though. If you want something that looks absolutely awesome with natural color, that's what you should get. Schooling, tropical, South American. What do we got in there? Oh, we have silver perch. Haven't had them for ages. Another native fish, they will get pretty decent, like 50 centimeters if you let them. Usually about 30, 40 centimeters is the max sort of size, but they can get a little bit bigger. Cold water to tropical, so they will survive again like the bass, anything from five degrees up to about 30, 35 with well oxygenated water. Very cool for aquaponics, for ponds, for bigger native tanks. They are back in as well. More silver dollars, okay, so we got quite a lot of silver dollars. I didn't realize there was a couple of bags of them. Oh, super red paradise fish. These are awesome. I would take some of these home if my accountant let me, but she won't. She's like, no, stop taking fish home. That's her voice. No, they are a temperate fish, so they will survive unheated. So from about 10 degrees up to about 30 degrees, they go bright red, with lovely blue tail. So you can have them unheated. They even breathe through the surface. So you can have them in a nice 40, 50, 60 liter tank with no filter, no heater lots of plants they will do super well really nice fish they will mix with a few other cold water fish like white cloud mountain minnows pacific blue eyes stuff like that but as a rule very cool and hardy more bass okay we've got a lot of bass as you probably saw with the first imagey the moving image <laughs> which is a video oh look at that if you know what that is Comment down below. How cool is that? That's a natural color. So this is a shop pet. We can get them in if you want. We used to have a lot of this sort of stuff before 2011 floods. When it floods around here, we lose power for two weeks. So we don't tend to stock this type of very cool fish, but we can get them in. If you know what it is, comment down below. I'm sure lots of people would know. We have more cherry barbs, red, lovely, super peaceful. These are an awesome, awesome display fish in a community tank. They only get redder with age, so the males go bright red, the females go the lovely coppery red color. Albino Buenos Tetras, they come from Albino. South American, obviously, from Buenos Aires. Very nippy, so you don't want to keep them with guppies and stuff like that, but they do get a decent size. So you can keep them with smaller Central and South American cichlids like convicts, firemouths, stuff like that, severums, all that sort of stuff they are fine with. Just a nice schooling fish if you want something a little bit bigger. And we have more neons. I think that... Oh no, that was not it. We have Harlequin Raspora. If you want a discount on any of these fish in this video, the discount code is the Joker. See, someone brought me this cup, and you know who you are. 
because they know I don't like the Joker. It makes anything you drink out of it horrible. If you want 10% off any fish, use the code word the Joker until the date on the screen. Just come in and say, the Joker is the code word. Can I have a discount? And we will give you a discount. It's as easy as that. The Joker discount might work online for the dry goods online as well. You'll have to find out. Harlequin Raspora, Southeast Asian again. Very cool, very nice. They have like a little lamb chop triangle. They used to call them lamb chop, ra lamb chop raspora because it looks like a lamb chop apparently. <laughs> I don't eat lamb. That's pretty gross. I eat fish either. I wouldn't eat one of those. I'm sure countless people will. Try not to eat your pets. If you like this video, <laughs> click the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, there'll be links on the screen everywhere, and we will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching my unboxing video. Hello. 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 Hello.